Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Module 7, which is the last week of our seven-week intensive class. And I hope everybody's doing well. This is, um, this is not an easy class, and in the seven-week format, I think it, it makes it even that much more intense. So I want to congratulate everybody for sticking with it till now. This is the final week. I'm, I'm trying to get the materials out early because I, I have shuffled a few things around and I've streamlined the requirements of work for this week. And I'll go through those in a minute. But really what I, what I did was uh, we had a discussion forum that I had previously scheduled concerning action research. I was going to have you read one uh, or two action research proposals look at the differences and similarities between the research that we've been studying this semester and then do a discussion post on it. So I've decided against that. And I, the reason being, I really would like you to have the time in this last week to work on your final critique assignment, which is the final paper. And, and so to get us going, I'll, I'll just go through some of the things, some of the things to do this week as you can see, I'm in Module 7, which is our last week of class. Um, even though I am not asking for any kind of discussion forum, discussion post by you this week, I'd like you to do a few things. And the first thing would be to read Chapter 15. Really, this is um, so you can understand the various types of practitioner or, and or action research. And what are the steps in conduction? conducting this type of research. So action research is a little less formal. It um, is used a lot of times in organizations that, that maybe are not conducting formalized qualitative or quantitative research, but they're, they're trying to figure out a, a problem. And it's, to me, this is the type of research that you may use in an organization. I use this all the time over the previous 20 years on in at, when I was working for the state of Maine. We, we really identified a problem and then figured out what, what it was exactly that we would like to understand. Oftentimes we conducted, um, we, we sent out various surveys using a Likert scale and then we'd analyze the results. But usually it was, it was pretty narrow what we were trying to find out and it was just, but we did follow the action research methodologies. So I'd like you to read chapter 15. Now this is where I was going to have everybody to do a discussion post on a few articles. Don't worry about that. Well, you don't know about it, but I am telling you. And then what I'd really like everybody this week to do is to focus in on the final assignment. Now, so these are the things, action research one, two, three, write your final assignment, which is due the 5th of July. If you get it done before then, please feel free to, to um, submit it to me. And here's some specific information on the final review assignment. So one thing I'd like you to do is take a, take a look at chapter 17. I'll show you 16 and 17, but I'll show you some additional uh, exemplars that you'll be able to find on Brightspace if you haven't already taken a look at them. So once again, I'm not trying to um, I'm not I'm not trying to expedite week number six or module number six. We still have the uh, draft matrix that is due on Sunday, May excuse me Sunday June twenty seventh. So you still have time to do that. And, you know, I also posted a, an additional uh, resource, posted an announcement today where you can actually see a voice thread and how do you construct the data mat matrix. Now, I've had one student submit the matrix, so that's why I sent out the information today. Okay, so what's included? Now, please take a look at the specifics for the final assignment. There's all kinds of information here, including information in, in the syllabus. Um, 
what I'm looking for, and you can you can look at the detailed information about what is required, but I'm, what I'm really looking for is a, a synthesis paper. I am not looking for six individual critiques of your research articles. You know, we've done two critiques this semester, one on qualitative, one on quantitative. This is really where you get to tell about each one of the articles, but also spin together the story. Okay, you had a topic, and it could be why the sky is blue. You got six research articles on that topic, but I really want you to either clump them or analyze them and write about them in a way that, that makes sense. You know, think about your writing for a lay audience. This could be professionally, it could be um, something that you're publishing, but you're writing it in a way that people, it's easy to understand, but you're also covering all of the bases that we've done, that we've covered in this course, and also in the critiques. Okay, so these are the titles I'd like you to keep, or you can use, you know, a slight modification of these, but the problem statement, review of the literature, purpose, hypothesis, questions, data collections, analysis and results. This is how I'd like you to, to write and organize it. Uh, conclusion and recommendation. So, some of the specifics. This should be 12 to 15 pages, excluding the title page. I'd like you to attach the matrix and the references. So, I also, if you haven't done this before, I'd like you to provide the articles in PDF. If you can't do that, uh, send me a, a link that will work because oftentimes I need to kind of poke over the fence and actually look at the research. Um, one thing I do want you to s submit also with this is your matrix. For those that have made a subst substitution for your initial six, that is fine. Just make sure you put them, put the substitution in your final matrix. I'd like you to use the APA formatting that we've been using in in the class. Most of you have a good grasp of that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, so the review, once again, you submit it here. It is due July 5th. If you want to get it into me sooner, that is fine. So there's a couple of things I do want to mention. Um, at the end of the course, there's this thing called... Like, call it bonus. It's worth 10 points, so it's worth substantial. I I would like you to reflect on the course learning and then write a couple of paragraphs about how you will apply what you learned over the last, last seven weeks. Um, what have you applied, what you learned, what went well, what did not go well, and what were the course takeaways, or what were your takeaways. Now, I'm not going to, if if I read this and I see that you're critical on something. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to go back and, and adjust your grade based upon what you said. You really want to know. The professors that teach this course, we are trying to unify, and we're, we're trying to standardize how we teach it, um, and we're looking for suggestions. I am looking for suggestions on what worked, what didn't work, what, what could have made it better, including, you know, you might say a 14-week version of this course is the way to go. So that's about it. Now, I did want to mention one of the requirements of the final paper, meaning the final review assignment, is to provide at the end a couple of paragraphs on action research, meaning, okay, you did this work, you wrote about it, you analyzed it, now what? Is there something that you could see that is missing and or how would you conduct beyond this class a action research? I'm not looking for a proposal, I'm just looking for really one or two paragraphs saying, okay, this is what I learned and this is what it, all of these re six research articles kind of left me hanging and I wish I had knew I wish I know or knew more about this subject. Therefore, 
I'm going to set up a fictitious action re research project that will do A, B, and C. That's about it. You don't, this is not a, an IRB proposal that you're making to, your, to the University of Southern Maine. It doesn't have to get into that level of detail of exactly what you're going to do. It's just conceptually, is there something that you would like to research further as a result of this paper and your research into this final assignment? So that is about it. Um, I will have probably a couple more announcements coming to you this week as we wrap up. But once again, I wanted to get this information out to you to know that really the only thing you have to do between now and the end of the class is submit your data matrix, which is due on June 27th, and the final review paper, which is due on July 5th. So I'll have some information coming to you in the meantime and before the end of the class. Thank you for the great work that you've done up to this point. Like I said, this isn't a simple class, and for those that are in their final class before they actually graduate, congratulations on making it to this point. This is a big accomplishment. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to set up a Zoom meeting with anybody, talk on the phone, text. Uh, I'm, I even get, you know, some, some brief message, text messages from students. That's fine. Let me know if I can help and I wish you the absolute best as we move forward with this last class, I mean this last week. See everybody.